Hey, does anybody have a charger? My battery's at like 9%. How old is this? This is how it feels when you're trying to figure out which fast charger can charge your electric vehicle. But those days are coming to an end because pretty soon, a lot of manufacturers are gonna start using the same charger that Tesla uses. See, this plug only works on Teslas, for now. But starting in 2025, You'll see it on electric vehicles from Rivian, GM, Ford, Volvo, Mercedes-Benz, Polestar, Nissan, and Honda. And that list seems to grow every single day. But that's still a ways away. So what do you need to know about chargers if you're shopping for an EV right now? Today, there are three types of fast chargers. This Tesla charger is now called the North American Charging Standard, or NACS, and for now, it's only available on Teslas. And most other electric vehicles with fast charging capabilities use this, the Combined Charging System, or CCS. And finally, there's Chatamo, which is short for Charge Then Move. No, seriously. And it's used to fast charge Nissan Leafs. It kind of sounds like some sort of cologne, doesn't it? Chatamo. But really, it comes from the Japanese phrase, would you like some tea? The Tesla charger, or NACS, is being adopted by a bunch of automakers because Tesla has the biggest network of fast chargers out there. Plus, look how small this thing is. It's so tiny compared to the other two. But you won't see non-Teslas with this plug on the road until 2025. So in the meantime, Tesla will be adding something called a magic dock to its existing supercharger stations so that EVs with the CCS plug can charge there too. Now keep in mind that they're not at every supercharger station, so make sure to check before you go. Right now, these changes don't mean a whole lot if you already own an electric vehicle with a CCS or a Chatamo port. There are still a ton of CCS and Chatamo chargers all over the place, so you don't have to worry about being able to find one for the foreseeable future. Plus, remember, Tesla is going to add some adapters to their supercharger stations so you can charge there too. If you're like most EV owners, you do most of your charging at home and nothing will change there. So all of these manufacturers are switching to the Tesla plug and more may follow. Does that mean you should wait to buy an EV? Not necessarily. The rollout is going to take a couple of years, but you have more options than you did before. You can fast charge at existing CCS charging stations, Chatamo for Nissan Leaf owners, or the new Magic Docks at Tesla supercharger stations. There might be some growing pains while all of this pans out, but eventually you'll be able to pull up to any charging station with confidence that you can actually, well, charge your car. That'll make owning an EV a lot easier. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm at 1% and I really need to charge my phone. So, but this definitely ain't gonna cut it. Anybody have a charger? <laughs>